Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, in us this session we will be discussing about basics of formatting. Today we are starting a completely new module where we will be learning about how we can do the cleaning of data in Excel itself. We are not talking about Power Query Editor right now. We'll be talking about Power Query Editor ahead in this session. But as of now, we are talking about how we can do the basic cleaning in Excel itself. For that, first of all, the first topic that we will be covering would be the formatting in Excel. Suppose if you want to change the font sizes, font colors, text colors, you want to format your data, you want to change the data types as well, or you want to fix the data types. If you have a short date, you want to create a long date. In that case, how we can do it, we will be learning that in this session. So we'll be basically talking about basics of formatting. So first of all, in basics of formatting, let's say, well, we are talking about this cell which we have merged in center previously if you want to change its alignment because now it's a little bit shifted towards the right and not in the center if you want to change its alignment towards the uh, left hand side you can just click on this and this is how it would change if you select the text and if you want to increase the font size on the top you will be finding the font size as well so you can change the font size according to yourself as of now you can see this data is on the left hand side but at the bottom if you want it to be in center on the top you will see middle alignment first choose the cell and we'll choose the middle alignment now it is in the middle of the row so this is how you can align your data you can merge and center it suppose if you have four to five cells and you want to merge and center it you can merge and center it and you can write whatever you want to write for example um, it could be expenses or anything that whatever you want to write if you want to come back you want to undo it just press ctrl z to undo it okay here we can provide borders as well so suppose if you choose this table here we have an option to provide a border on all the cells just click on all border and now you will see there is a border uh, wrapped around every side of the cell but not on the headers if we choose the headers suppose if we choose the headers like this we can choose the headers like this you want to increase the font size of headers we can increase the font size of headers as well we can fix the width according to our column text okay so this is how we can fix the width as well even when we choose amount let's say uh, amount or anything let's say category if we choose category over here let me just click anywhere and if I choose category and if I want that the alignment should be in middle the we can put the alignment in middle but I like it on the left hand side so let's just keep it on the left hand side as well uh, let's talk about amount amount is a currency right so suppose if we go to general and we want to change it to currency we can change it to currency as well okay and if we have this button over here which says number format just click on this we can go to number or we can go to currency which tells us that this is the sample how it would look like a currency has two decimal places in the end so that if we have a decimal value it displays the decimal value as well if i click on ok you can see how the column format has changed into rupees and um, we have two decimal places as well if you want to change the symbol just click over here and we have more accounting formats we have dollars that is english united states okay we have euros and yen as well so here we have different symbols that you can put and then we go to date in the date we also have different options we have short date long date or if i again click on this button here in date section we'll find many types of date formats like first you want year then you want a month and then you want the day first you want the day then month then year or day but month completely written like the full form of the month has been written over here that is a long date if i choose this so it will give me instead of 12 now it will give me december that first december 2023 23 december 2023 if i choose this again if i convert it to short date it comes back to a short date as well so you can choose the format as per your choice this is how you can choose the format uh, fix the format as well so suppose if you want to fix any of the formats this is how you can do it in our next session we will be discussing about how we can sort data in excel with different methods so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session